Well, this right here was the old one. What I wind up doing, I might wind up making it bigger. This is the new one. So I'm gonna have to get this out of here and turn it um, go completely like that. Just like I said, it's just a little small process. And uh, set up on here and get this situation taken care of. Again, um, yeah, I gotta this is the wax. It just came out of the machine. The letters and everything written on there. Pretty much just gonna clear my bench off a little. Throw it out of there. Grab your blade. Teeth down. Open up. Now we're doing this just put a little pressure on it to tighten your blade up. Blade tight. Cut this out of here. Nice, easily smooth cutting. Because I will be using that again broke it off as you can see now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go all the way around here and trim all the way around here and turn this back into a complete circle we're going back to a complete circle I go one corner off then I'll take my file and I'll smooth this back out on the other corner. Try to get closest to your markings as possible as far as your uh, circle markings. That way that saves you less um, filing. It's two circles. Like I said, I have another machine that will cut it with uh, less effort. I mean, it'll slice right through it like it's a piece of butter. But um, sometimes that tend, again, that machine tends to have a mine of its own. And then, then plus, I don't want to lose all my fingers. So sometimes I'd rather just do this to where I'm in control of the situation. Much faster and much easier. Okay, and I came through there with that. Look a little different. I take my file. I come a few strokes, as you can see, and it started to form. I will actually take everything off of there and go back into a complete circle. Still using my, my visible lines. Um, and just shaving around. All the way around it. I'm gonna make a whole complete another circle. Look like a piece of a pie. And I'm gonna come around it and then be a whole complete circle. Stay tuned.